I keep crashing. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, uh, that's the hardest one yet. <laughs> Here we are, training day number two. Day two, I mastered a hill and I mastered uphill and I mastered a downhill. Yeah, basically starting at the same spot. We're gonna have We're some road. Forward. Yeah, road miles now. Yeah. You're gonna be able to use your headlight maybe. Oh, I was gonna let you go first, I'll follow you. Is there anything I need to anticipate here? This one, it's, there's some rocks on the trail, but other than that, there's no climbs, no nothing. It just goes to that, you're, it's gonna be rocky and then it goes to that um, aspen meadow. <laughs> there you go. Woohoo! Oh, it just cleared out. Start it and rev it, and then you'll be in. Got it now. Uh, I just we're we're a thousand feet or a couple feet up from our house, so. All right, that's the last of the rocks. <laughs> Get cold, sun's down. Where she crashed last time. Can I just roll down? Yeah. How? Um, you can either keep it in first and pull the clutch in, or put it in neutral. But you move your walk your front tire back and forth, or like this. You gonna wiggle it, and it'll get around it. You just wheel it, yeah, and you'll you'll start to go. Just don't you keep your pull your clutch in, like yeah. What's going on? I'm breaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, don't push it. Don't push it. <laughs> I did it real hard. 
<laughs> I'm like, yeah, just push her down. <laughs> Full send. I can do it. <laughs> Where is it like going? Like it's um going. So it'll. What am I? Am I like? It, it wants to go a certain speed. So if you're going too slow, the first gear will kick up and go. But when you get going fast, the slow the first gear will slow you down. So it just wants to go a certain speed. You maintain a speed enough to get your balance, and you kind of feather them. You don't ever want to slam it because it'll lock it up, but you just kind of just, just press. You'll get it. That's one thing about electric bikes, I guess. You don't have a clutch anymore, so you're gonna have both your brakes up top like a mountain bike. It'd be interesting. Man, I think it took me longer to use my rear brake just to get used to it. This is the scenic view in the sun. Again. Oh no! I didn't. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you okay? Oh no! I think it's the sand. I think it's like it takes off differently. Oh, like the traction's different. A hundred percent. Sand is. You sink and. Dusty gravel lanes and the sun sinking low Fields of barley swing where the wildflowers grow You okay? You okay? <laughs> what happened? I have no idea! You know I wrecked right there. I think it may just be the spot. Did you seriously crash or did you just see me and freak out? I saw you and just put my bike down. <laughs> and now I'm moving your bike in a better spot. <laughs> that was the, uh, that's the hardest one yet. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Why did I do that? I don't even know why I like spazzed out. It started here. It's the sand is like freaking me out. You went, I think your front tire slipped and your bike just twisted, and I think you you just yeah. goosed it. <laughs> I definitely did, but I don't know like why I, I think I'm like just tired and like scared. <sighs> don't be scared. You're almost <laughs> home. We're almost <laughs> home. <laughs> Definitely got an education about the dirt texture because I think it's like that, this like sticky, sandy like stuff. It, like the tire sticks 
and I just am not like anticipating what it's gonna do. Well, I made it, I think. Yeah. I was a little bit more brave today, but I learned that going uphill and going downhill are two totally different set of skills. And I really like going uphill more than downhill. Downhill is wacky. And I think it's the momentum that you gain and feeling like not in control. Thanks for watching, bye.